hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel series so now guys in this video we are going to start with the settings of the website okay so let us click here and it goes to the settings.php so guys now let's create the settings.php file inside our admin folder let me close all the files and as simple inside admin folder create a file settings.php and include the basic things okay so let me just copy and paste here and paste the footer part copy paste it so now guys let's begin with the simple card design so card card header then the card body h4 tag website settings and then guys you begin with your form design here so let's open form close form your action goes to code.php and method equal to post and now guys create a margin bottom three a simple label with the title of the page input dot form hyphen control name equal to title let's copy this paste here so your domain url like url forward slash the domain name okay here you can tell as a slug and again paste for the website small description okay let's add small description and then small description okay and now guys again let's paste here for the seo tags meta description you can add that meta underscore description so same way copy and paste so this is going to be in a text area so you don't have to use the input tag let me okay so let us copy and paste here and change this id to class and tell form hyphen control remove it and row of three and now we can remove this copy and paste for the meta keyword so this is the keyword and here let me add a h4 tag like seo settings and just add a margin bottom for this also like py3 top and bottom and then guys we are going to start with the contact information that is email id 1 2 and phone number 1 2 let me copy this paste here let me copy the heading also and tell contact information and email 1 email 1 you can add this the type as email copy and paste so here email 2 email 2 okay and now guys let's copy this paste it for the phone number so phone 1 this is going to be a text or just add a number and here phone 1 let's paste again which is going to be phone 2 text and this is also phone 2 and finally one address area so i just want to copy as a text area and paste here mention the address tell address form control so now the finally one submit button margin bottom 3 a button with save setting and the button type it's going to be a submit primary save it and now guys let's check the output for this okay so yep refresh perfect so we have got this title url small description and these are the seo settings and these are the contact information so guys if you want to keep in 
one row it's fine then or else you can keep a uh, half of column like you can just use this row part here row and control x and paste here at the address end paste it and just add inside this margin bottom column md6 okay and here you make it to 12 save it and now refresh so you see as simple and now guys i just want to move this setting to the right side and start with the coding part so here you add text and refresh okay so once you click the submit button the button name is name equal to save setting let's copy this once the button is clicked it goes to the form tag on the action code.php with the post method okay so let's go on the code.php let's move below so here you check is the button clicked or not with the help of is set function with the method post so if the setting is clicked then you are going to get all the input fields so what are those input fields this title slug small description okay so let me get here dollar title equal to your validate function and inside that dollar underscore post method of the title okay so same way guys we are going to get all the input fields let me just copy and paste that okay so guys i have just pasted all the input fields and now guys let's begin with the query part where we can save the data so as first step you need to check one more setting that in this form tag i just want to give a input hidden so name equal to setting id okay so this will be my setting id and value i'm going to insert uh, keep as insert okay as simple and here we will make it to hidden so which is not going to be visible and now guys let's copy this get back and paste here so copy and paste validate the input field and this is going to be a setting so now first step in if condition you are going to check if this setting id is double equal to insert okay then you are going to insert the record so let's write the query here equal to double quotes insert into the table name called settings so let us just check the database for this settings table let's go and here we have only one table that is users so guys we need to create the table also just click on this new and create the tables with the name settings and start with the adding id name int and 11 here and you need to check with the primary key go and auto increment and select the attribute that is unsigned and then guys you need to call all these input fields title slug small description meta description keyword and all other fields so let me just add all those fields and show you so i have added these three fields and now let us add more seven records so just type seven and go here okay and now let me paste all the remaining fields that is the meta description keyword and others okay so guys i have pasted all the column field names here and now let us just go for save click on save here to save the table perfect so guys i have successfully created the settings table and now let us save this records so first let us just drag and copy this and get back so now insert into settings table where the column fields so these are the column fields let me separate them by comma okay done and then guys we need to enter the value for this so let's hit enter here and type values so open and close bracket and insert single quotes you need to paste dollar title okay title 
so make sure you are pasting the first column is title then it should be the variable title then slug means you are going to call your slug column okay so same way dollar slug so let me just paste all the variables guys email two and then your dollar phone one and dollar phone two dollar phone two and finally the address dollar address okay and guys make sure you are not giving any comma after this okay and just end it so now guys let's run the query with the help of mysql i query function where the first will be the database connection and then your query so now let us check this result if result is true or false redirect him redirect back to the settings page settings.php with the message settings saved okay and give semicolon else you can redirect him again and tell something went wrong okay so now guys let us submit it let's get back refresh let's add device services and some www.deviceservices.com okay some description copy and paste paste so random contact at dot com okay so i'm going to keep null here phone number some random data now let's click on save saved and we have got back but we did not get message because we have not pasted the alert over here so we need to add that also so just open and close the php and use alert message function to display the messages and now if you refresh here your message will be saved okay shown so settings saved and now guys let us get back browse here perfect so we have got the data guys and now what we have to do um here you see we don't have the email data why let us just check that so come back here e m a i l email one let's copy this get back and email one copy and here we have missed the spelling guys so make sure you are giving the correct spelling so it will save the data okay so now guys are uh, getting back to the settings.php file where we have inserted the data and now we, when we refresh back it should show the data right so for that you just need to append the data in the same input so what we are going to do open php close php and create a variable called setting equal to where get by id so this is the function we have created inside our functions.php to get the data from our table table name and pass the id give id number one and now let us save and see the output now refresh okay everything works cool so now copy this variable and just come inside this settings id input open echo and close so if this variable of data of my settings table id is there then you show the id else you can show this insert value okay so either this either this id or the static value insert value so same process goes for every input values okay and just add a title here or it will be empty okay you can post in double quotes so let's copy this guys and paste here for every input field copy and paste lug now let us check the output refresh here you see awesome so now guys let us paste for other fields also copy and paste for your 
input here small description and paste it and now we need to paste for the text area so you have to add here without the value attribute and paste keyword and then again input fields so let's copy the value paste it paste paste and finally again text area for the address so let's copy and paste here and now guys make sure you are changing the value of the setting paste and paste done refresh so we have got all the data so now guys when we click on save setting it should not insert the data instead it should update the data so for that you just get back and you see this value right so it is getting an id so let's copy this and get back here so we have already got the data and let's check in if condition here is numeric okay if it's a number then call this dollar setting id variable if it's number then you're going to update the data so let's write the query equal to where update the table name so that is settings where set title equal to dollar title okay and make sure you're pasting inside a single quotes so now guys paste all other input fields so let me just copy from here itself and try to break it so just control d and just break it and now guys the same we have created the column names in the table so you can just give that and i need to remove this title i have already set here finally the address column equal to address and now use a where condition id equal to your dollar setting of id so this is the variable which you are checking here if it's numeric then we are going to update the data okay and now let's run the mysqli query let me copy and paste here so if mysqli successfully runs then it updates the data and returns you back okay now refresh so here i am going to add the email address as updated at gmail.com hit enter okay you have an sql syntax error let's get back so where i missed here guys so after this title you need to give comma and then okay so let me break this down so it will be much clear save it and now let us try again so once get back and refresh paste update so settings saved and now if you see here you see that email is updated so here it did not create the record instead it saves the updates the record okay and you can just add updated here updated perfect let me change this again and let's save setting perfect guys so as we have successfully seen that how to create a settings website settings table in our php admin panel and now guys in next video we'll be seeing how to utilize this settings in our front end side okay so i'll just show you here on this page we are going to show here the title the footer and many things so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share